If you take a bunch of photos, you may end up with duplicates on your computer. If they're exactly the same, then it's relatively easy to remove them. But what if they're not exactly the same? What if they're a different resolution? What if they're different file formats? What if you're one of those people who takes the same photo from various angles? Let's save you some hard drive space. Some time ago I made a video talking about removing duplicate files for free, which is great, but this is done on a byte-to-byte -byte basis, meaning they have to be exactly the same. We're going to do this on a filter basis with VisiPix. It's a free download. I'll provide the download link in the description. And this does this on a strict to loose basis. So strict meaning that the files pretty much have to be exactly the same. And loose can be for things that have cosmetic changes, uh, things done in different resolutions or taken with different cameras, things like that. So let's go to the options quickly and you'll see scan for 90 degree rotations. That's quite nice. Things like iPhone sometimes show as 90 degree rotated on the screen. We also have an option for include subfolders so we can make sure it doesn't scan inside specific folders, which some tools automatically do. So if you just want a specific folders and no folders inside it, do that option. So I'm just going to go to C and duplicate photos and drag that folder over to the right. This is all the areas that it's going to scan, so you can do a bunch of folders inside here. I'm going to leave the filter at strict. We have a look at loader. We can filter this down if we wanted. Mine are all exactly the same, so it's not giving me any options here. But I can go bigger than 50 by 50, smaller than 4000 by 4000. And auto selecting. A lot of tutorials out there will tell you how to find those duplicate photos, but you're going to have to manually go through each one and remove them. However, here you do have an, uh, some tools available for you where you can auto select the uncompressed ones or select the lower resolution, smaller file size. So you can press that delete button and delete a lot more. Very useful if you have thousands and thousands of photos that are all duplicates. So we're good to go. We've got the filter at strict. I'm going to press play and you'll see on the left hand side, it's got me some photos for which are the ones I showed you at the beginning. Now, as I mouse over each one, it's actually showing me the preview, but obviously they're exactly the same. It's just showing me the file names underneath them. So I'm pretty much okay to just click, click, and click, and you can see it's marked them all. It's gonna put them to the recycle bin. Before I do this, I recommend backing folders up that you think are important just in case you end up removing the wrong ones. However, it does only go to a recycle bin so you can recover those files if you wish. So pretty much good to go. If I move over to the right and press delete, I can press OK and now I've deleted all my duplicate photos. You can also move those photos too which might be a good idea to do first before you go ahead and delete them. So that is duplicate photos. Now I'm going to go to similar photos and drag that across. I'm going to remove my duplicate photos folder. And what this will actually do is go through this strict to loose basis automatically. I don't need to actually set this to loose. So as soon as I press the play button, you'll see that this little slider is going down by itself. So saying, okay, there's no duplicates, like proper duplicates. Let's go ahead and look for some more things. It's now stopped to the second to last notch and told me these are very similar to each other. If you saw from the beginning, I had four there. So it's actually put these as a little orange circle over each one. What I'm actually going to do is set this myself all the way to the bottom and press play. And there we go. We have all four here. It's shown ones as red because it thinks they're very loose, but it has all my photos. So I'm just going to keep that first one, mark the other three for deletion, click delete, click OK, and I've deleted all my duplicates. What will happen if you have loads of photos is it will list them all down here that you can just simply go to each one you want to remove. And then if it has too many, it will put more pages on just to provide you without a stupidly long list if you have thousands of photos. So I hope this helps you guys. If it does, feel free to give me a thumbs up or a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.